Normally, you deduct any input VAT based if the cost is inherent or not. So if it's a business cost, yes, you can write off 100% of input VAT against output VAT. If it isn't, well, you can't claim anything. And this varies depending on the type of the business. Because if I buy jewelry, well, that's definitely a cost which is not inherent. But if I am a jewelry store, well, that makes a total difference. So first of all, in order to deduct VAT, the cost must be inherent to the business. However, there are also some limitations set by the law. First of all, what happens with mixed used assets? So your telephone, you use your telephone for a mixed personal and business use. Now, how do you qualify the percentage? How do you calculate the percentage of VAT which is deductible? Which, you know, if you use it 60% of the time, you should deduct 60%. Well, this creates an enormous ground for litigation because you have to prove that, et cetera, et cetera. So the law said it's 50%, whether you use it more or less. And on top of it, the Article 19 bis 1 of the VAT code sets out the limited deductibility item. So this article says first, which are limited VAT deductible items and for how much. So telephone expenses, mobile phone expenses, those are limited deductibility on 80%. So 80% is business use, 20% isn't. Motor car, motor vehicle expenses, 60%. You can deduct 60% VAT, 40% is non-deductible. Residential property, 100% non-deductible. Unless the residential property, the output, you charge VAT or representative expenses. That VAT is not chargeable at all, is not deductible at all. That's a 100% non-deductibility, which means that becomes a cost to your business. And oftentimes my clients get very confused and they say, well, I can actually prove I use my motor car for more than 60%. And my answer is very simple. Well, yes, you can. However, the tax office is not interested. In case they charge that, in case they inspect that, in case they find it out, and they will, you can't say anything because the law says 60%. And this is all can you do. I know this is unfair. I know that sometimes you use it more for business purposes than individual purposes, personal purposes. However, this is the way in which VAT has a limited deductibility. And by the way, you do not have to mismatch that with income tax or corporate tax limited deductibility because those items must have, might have different coefficient for income and corporate tax purposes and VAT.